Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. Guess what I'm painting today? Yes, it is a lampshade or a light shade or a batten holder shade as we call them here. Um, so it's one of those ones that just sits with the globe hanging down and it hangs from the ceiling and it's boring and white and ugly and how does it get better? That's what I keep asking myself. How does it get better? So, it's going to get better today or it's going to get so worse that I throw it out. <laughs> so, what I'm going to attempt to do today is pull both sides on the same day. So, let's see how I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the inside first. I'm going to pull from the rim. And let it all drain down through these holes and capture what's left. And then I'm going to pick it up, turn it over, maybe, somehow, not really sure how. Yeah, it'll probably be slippery and wet. Pop it down on those four tins there and pull the outside. <laughs> Do you think it'll work? How many of you think it'll fail? Thanks. Now, as you can imagine, I'm going to need more paint than I can normally fit into my um, my bended tin to do this. So, and I've been looking for a while. How do I get something bigger? I'm trying to find plastic contain cups that bend. Well, I finally found some. But the thing is, they didn't come how I expected them to come. This is actually a cut down version of this. See how I've cut that firm rim? Now if I try and squeeze this, oh no, it is actually going to, the last one broke. Snap! And that snapped it all the way down here. But by cutting the top off, I've got a completely flexible cup. It's not going to break. I mean, it is a flexible cup anyway. It's not one of those harsh, cracky ones. But let's see what we can do. Just had an idea, though. I'm going to put it onto my turntable so that I can just pour and turn at the same time. So let's move all of this out of the way. Hey, hey, hey. Put that in the centre. And where do I need my others? There. Basically on the edges of that. And it can sit down there. Awesome! Now if this super fails and I decide I need a new one, they're only like $2. So I'm just going to lift you up a bit so you can see the whole process. Magic. Poof! All right, so let's get this party started. Uh, what colors am I using? I am definitely using Payne's Gray, which is like a dark, dark blue-black. I'm definitely using Crimson, and this one's got silicon in it. I'm definitely using White. Now, there's a possibility I'll add yellow, but right now it's not in the realm of likely, if you know what I mean. So the question then becomes, in what order do I pour? I think I need white on the top. Because I'm pouring around a, a big lip like this, see, I can turn it just like that. Um... It's, I'm not going to have the problems that I normally have with 3D objects because it's all just going to concertina down. I might have that problem on the outside, but I won't have it on the inside. Uh, but I am going to start us off with some white in the bottom. As soon as we are pouring, I'm going to layer it. 
And I'm going to layer it by pouring down the sides. And I'm going to alternate layer like this so that technically the paint's grey and the white should never be officially touching. That's if I remember to do what I think I'm remembering to do. There's a lumpy bit in there. That's a bit of a worry. Oh, how much paint do you think we'll need? Well, I'm going to stop at that because that's all the white I've got. So remember we've got something down the bottom to catch anything. That makes it down the bottom. Oops, I went off the side. Well, it's definitely interesting. Not a hundred percent sure I like it. <laughs> so I'm just going to let it just drain a bit. Because, you know, even though I said that it wasn't going to go the right way. There's a couple of spots that just aren't playing the game. Just trying to encourage them to flow. As it stretches, I'm starting to like it. Let me zoom you in and show you, see if we can brighten that up, you can see down in there, no, not really, it's doing our drippy thing in there, oh, that's pretty cool. I'm just going to pour another bead just around there. And let's see if that can push this down a bit more. Yep, there it goes. I actually really like the way this has done this. It's quite spiky and funky.
just thinking what I might do is just oh that's already white in that one just drip a little bit of white into these give it a little bit more pulling power now the interesting thing is when I flip this over we're gonna have a reversal effect so I'm <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting one guys right first of all we need to torch it where's our torch torchy there you are so this is just a little tiny gas torch out there I can feel it getting hot in my hand so let's pop any air bubbles and bring any silicon cells up to the top That's really funky. Do I dare, dare, dare it, dare ruin it by flipping it? Maybe I'll take some photos first. <laughs> Let me show you what I see. We do have some small cells happening. a few cells in that last bit that I poured out so I don't know what quite happened there okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over and sit it into that cup hopefully it will hold it so we can have a look at what's in that tin while it still carries on draining just that little bit more. Oh, yummy. Check it out, guys. It's, sorry, it's very, very zoomed. Let's back it out and I'll bring it up to you. That looks cool can hear some of you saying you should have put a canvas underneath that that would be very cool on a canvas yes it would it'll be very cool on a pendant as well so let's get one um Do you want to be a pendant? Do you want to play with me? So if you haven't been following my channel, what I do is I get a glass cabochon which is flat on one side and rounded on the other. Put a blue bit of blue tack on the rounded side. Polish up the flat side. And then dip it in the paint. And when we take the blue tick off, rub, 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 rub. get rid of that blue tick goop. We just captured what was in there. So I'll put that aside.
let that dry you know what that created that made it look now it looks like one of those really really cool um, things that are usually on coats of arms and stuff now what else would like to be I'm actually going to go back in in the same spot with a round one looks like a flower can't tell you which flower maybe like a hibiscus type um or a very open iris do you know what i mean Let's flip over and see what we got. Funky, funky, funky. If I remember, I'll show you these at the end of, with the dry painting. Anything else? No, nope, nothing else. Okay, cool. So let's get back to our light fitting. Next step is to try and flip it. Without dropping it. Do you reckon it's possible? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna pick it up by that because that's not wet, and then put my fingers in there and flip it just like that. Cool. I'm clever. Hey, look, it's left patterns in there as well. Uh, um, might do a ring of the blue. Let's get you focused before I start. From midway. Just as if we're doing a what's that thing called? Oh, crikey, my brain's gone again. Where'd it go? Come back, brain. Um, I know what created this. My mother went to a memory course today. <laughs> Now I've forgotten everything. Uh, what's that stuff? When you when you put white or black down as a negative space, that's the one. Thank you. Whoever sent that through from the future. So we've already got a whole heap of paint on here. We shouldn't have any problems with stretching so let's I'm going to start pouring this one first So this is the stuff that fell through. Okay. Let 
and this is what's left in the pot. I didn't plan that dribble, but it happened. And at this rate, we might have large quantities dripping down onto the outside <laughs> that we can dip cabochons in again. I love the way the colour's pulling on the side of me. Zoom you. See how it's kind of doing this floaty, eerie kind of pull apart thing? I like that. What else is happening? It's still moving. Just going to bring it over the lip. Guys, all right, no tilting required, it's tilting itself. How's it getting any better than that? Thought I'd get you down and just show you what's going on in here without having to pixelate out the zoom. We have staff just arrived back to the yard, so it's I really like this. This is cool. Good evening, okay. Next step, look at that. There's a bit in the paint and it's just holding everything up and it's creating that funkiness. All right, let's put you back Hello. up on top. Sorry. Hi. Hi. All right, so let's torch it. See what we've got cell-wise in this one. And we're not going to be able to see the underside of it until it's dry. Oh, it's so exciting. I was going to say scary, and then I realized I'm not at all scared. How many of you say that you're scared or something scary? And actually, it's exciting. It's exciting. I'm losing that really pretty bit over the side, but that's all right. These cells will make other pretty bits. Just want that bit to go down a little bit more. Where's my black gone? Oh, Payne's grey. It's not black, Michelle. Just putting a bit more paint on there and that's just going to Slow down and hopefully push that bit where I mushed it with my finger off. And while I've got the stick out, I'm just going to go around and just check we've got paint on all the sides. Just 
you know, have a good time. Here it goes. All right. Well, let's get you down again and show you those cells. And then I'm going to leave it to dry. I might have to tip out these tins and let them drain and see what we can get out of them for pendants as well. But let's get you down. Okay. Here we go. Down, 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 down. So the cells aren't huge. They're not deliciously weird. But they're there. They're giving texture. I really like this bit down here though. And hey, this is a 3D object and it's still wet. Who knows what this will look like tomorrow. So there you go, guys. Dun, dun, da, la, la. All right. I'm going to have a play with that other paint off camera and I'll show you what those come out like when, um, when I get back. So see you when this is dry. In three, two, one. I know I said it off camera. But this bit's quite funky. So I'm just going to push it, squish it to try and get it to cover this whole cabochon. There we go. That's quite pretty. I like that one. All right, here she blows. She's all dry now. Um, I'm calling her a she. I'm guessing that's because it's pink. I don't know. Um, but this is the inside. And it didn't actually have too much flow back. But there is some funky... Funky shapes created by the flow back. So I really like it. It's very fun. And uh, it's cool. And then we flip her over and it's a much different colour combo. As can be imagined when it gets mixed in with the white a bit more at the bottom there. I'm a little bit up annoyed with myself for having done this little strip but hey you know it just adds to the the textures and the the fun so there she blows oh yummy so in a minute i'm going to put it up and show it to you finished but before i do that let's have a look at the pendants that i created um i can't remember what order i did these in but um, they've, they've all come out very beautiful. Some more so than others. Depends on your point of view. So let me know in the comments which one you find more beautiful. There's this one. It's kind of plain at the top. But then it comes down. It's got these weird looking eyes. It kind of... Mm, it's quite cool. Then there's the big oval one. And that's definitely captures, like to me, this is a an acrylic pourer's pendant because it captures that drip, 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 drip scenario. Um, yeah, that's cool. Super, super bright. Um, once again, this camera is oranging out. But that's very crimson red. It's... Um, I don't know how to make it. Let's see if I tip that round there with that. Nope. It's still looking slightly orangey. It's a very, very crimson, very 
um, non-orange, very blue red, this one. Um, so bear that in mind for all of them. And we've got the rectangle. And it's kind of got that slice of slice of stone look about it. I like it. It's cool. And then this is my favorite. A little flower. It's cool. That's super cool. I really like that one. All right, so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to take you over and I'm going to hang this and we can see what it looks like. All right. Look, they look like white before I put the painted one up. Obviously, there's no bulb in it. I suddenly had the thought after I took the bulb out, well, I should add this bit. So there it is, white. Yeah. Does it change just a little bit? <laughs> How cool is that? I love it. I love it. With these things, you don't actually see the tops very much. But, you know, so it's the bit that's in the middle that's the big important piece, really. That's the artwork that will be on display. So let's flick that light on. Oh, blow out. Oh, that's so pretty. Pretty, pretty. I love it. Okay, guys, so thanks so much for joining me for this pour. It was lots of fun. And uh, the, the light and the, um, and the pendants, I have so much fun making these videos and I'm so grateful for you guys who watch them. Super grateful for those of you that are willing to let the ad run beforehand that, um, you know, I get, I get a few cents each time you watch an ad for 30 seconds or more. Um, and those of you that buy your products through the Amazon links in the description, super, super grateful. Um, I get a few cents off your purchases of those as well, and you don't pay any extra. So, and that's how I pay for my, all my paints and all the things that I paint on, guys. So what else is possible? What can you paint on that you haven't thought of painting on yet? What if nothing was safe from the paint pouring possibilities? PPP, paint pouring possibilities. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, guys, I'm off to pour another painting. So you've got something to watch in a couple of days once it's dry. And I've got another one that is drying almost completely ready for you to see tomorrow. So thanks so much for joining me. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to make sure that you see those upcoming videos, hit the subscribe and the notifications bell. And what else is possible? How much fun can we have? Bye-bye.